Hmm. All right, we're live, finally. Live take 27, it seems like. Goodness gracious. Happy Friday, everybody. Take a minute here, see if anybody jumps on. Hope everybody had a good week. I know it's post St. Patty's Day, but I told you guys that in March we're doing all green, so keep my promise of course I got my bow tie gotta do the bow tie get a couple of you folks on here see what's going on and then we'll get started we'll talk about uh kind of the week what's going on uh what happened this week and then um talk about what you missed uh in the shows this week and stuff like that and got some announcements and stuff like that a couple updates so it'll be good so stay tuned stay with me here as we're getting this all started and it's uh late because it's kind of a late start this morning again the internet here is acting funny for some reason facebook doesn't like uh my computer so, anyway, I'm going to get started here, and uh, those of you that jump on, hopefully you guys will, will jump on here in a few. Um, yesterday, St. Patrick's Day, prior to that, earlier this week, I was blessed. Uh, the Lord had let me uh, celebrate my 44th. I want to thank everybody that reached out, phone calls, text messages, um, all the Facebook messages and stuff like that. You guys are absolutely amazing for all of you that reached out. Uh, to wish me a happy birthday. Take, just take time out of your day to wish me a happy birthday. It meant the world to me. So thank you so much uh, to all of you uh, that did that. I love you all for doing that. Uh, I kept it low key yesterday, believe it or not. Yesterday uh, ended up working. Had to had to do quite a bit of work, um, but uh, had a nice dinner last night and uh, it was good. If you guys watch this, I want to know what you guys did for St. Patty's Day. So leave a comment below and let me know what you guys did i'm only going to show you the top part because the uh the bottom part uh is not kid friendly so uh we'll just say cheers to y'all for that but if you jump on leave a comment say hello let me know what you did for saint patrick's day this year love to hear what you guys uh what you guys did shad morning brother i appreciate you jumping on it's been a wild morning already trying to get the show going uh, one of these days i'd like to start the show on time I, I i usually start the live section i don't know probably five minutes before nine o'clock and then it, it, it doesn't kick in until well afterwards so yeah saint who saint bird perhaps no maybe not <laughs> saint adam no nothing hey daniel Thanks, brother. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I <laughs> love it. Jump on, say hello. Let me know what you guys did yesterday for St. Patrick's Day. If that's something you celebrate. I, it's, you know, I don't drink beer. Had a few of my, my some of my friends came along and uh, we shared some gin. Hmm. That's about it. All right. Uh, let me see here. What else we got? Uh, hey, it's March Madness, and those you, all you sports fans out there, we're going to be covering some of the regionals. Uh, we'll be at the Sweet 16, which is not this weekend, next weekend, and then uh, we'll be down at the Final Four. So if anybody is down and is going to be in Philadelphia uh, next weekend, let us know, hit us up, and then if you're going to be, if you live, uh, or if you're going to be down in New Orleans for the uh, Final Four this year, hit us up, let us know. We'd love to meet up with you. Um, so that's it for pretty much the sports side of things right now. JD is going to cover the other sports 
uh, stuff with the S3 uh, tomorrow. I believe he'll be jumping on, probably doing a live like he usually does. So uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, that's usually sometime in the morning. So, and if he jumps on here, I'm sure he will. He'll he'll say something about that because there's a lot of stuff going on in the sports world right now, as well. Big news with the Green Bay Packers and the trade of uh, Devontae Adams. I won't get into that. I'll let JD cover that. Um, let me see here. Another event center coming up April 9th in Tennessee. Operation uh, Giving Back and Operation TP Pyramid. Uh, I'll put the you got ticket sales. And uh, there's a donation link that I'll post after the show here. But if you're in uh, Tennessee on April 8th and April 9th and want to attend that event, I believe it's in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, April 8th and April 9th. So, and that supports the Tennessee VFW Foundation. So uh, I'll leave the links for that. There's actually, I believe it's on April 8th, is dinner with uh, Uncle Cy from uh, Duck Dynasty. So that's uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So check that out. Um, also, if you happen to be in Tennessee this weekend, go down to Short Mountain Distillery. Uh, make a call and set a reservation uh, if you want to. There's a great restaurant down there. And then also take the time to do the actual tour of the distillery. There's a really cool history there. And while you're there, you do the tastings. You can try the stuff that they make as well as you get to try um, the HMG gin uh, down there. So make sure you go check that out. Also, if uh, if you want to try the gin, you can go to Bricktown Brewery. Uh, Springfield, Missouri, they have it there. They serve it there. Thank you, Bricktown Brewery. And they're hopefully going to be expanding that out to their other franchises uh, in and around Missouri and Kansas. If you'd like to try the HMG beverage stuff, go ahead and uh, drop us a line or have your local watering hole requested. So that's it for that stuff. There. Let's get into the shows. A lot of great shows this week. Um, really cool episodes. And I want to kick the this week off with uh, Oscar Mike Radio and our buddy Travis. Um, and he did this show last night live from the Oscar Mike Radio Facebook page. You can go to Oscar Mike Radio on Facebook and check it out. The video is up. But he had uh, Amanda Coleman, who is known <clears throat> in the law enforcement uh, realms as the Irish Angel. Uh, Amanda talked about the need for more support for law enforcement, EMS, and first responders. We talked about how the military and law enforcement differed in that many times uh, us in the military, we don't go home at night when our shift is over. We're deployed away from home, whereas law enforcement and first responders, they must work, uh, they must work to not bring the job home on a daily basis. Uh, certainly, Irish Angel is working to gain more support to fund their programs. It is a nonprofit. You got to check it out, Irish Angel. Um, and there is a lot of work underway, in which is why Amanda uh, is here in the U.S. Amanda is actually from Ireland, came over, and and Travis met up with her and did this awesome interview, and it was really really cool. And like I said, the interview was uh, I believe last night. Go check it out. Um, it was on his Facebook live page. So go check out Oscar Mike radio. And check that out. Great episode, Travis. That was awesome. Uh, let me see here. Travis, good morning, brother. And speak, speak of the devil. He's, he just, uh, jumped on to say good morning. So yeah. And if you're not following Travis, follow Travis, give, give him a friend request. And like I said, it was a really cool interview that he did last night. And you can find it on the Oscar Mike, uh, radio Facebook page. Really cool episode. All right, next up, we got uh, the Arms Room. Every Monday, 2 p.m., Mountain Standard Time, they got a new episode that that, uh, that comes out. This week, the team discussed skills to focus on when building a mutual assistance group, how to build a group, and how to weed out the weakest link. So check that out. That's this week's The Arms Room Show. Always good to... And, and listen, here's the other thing. Those of you out there... If you're interested in doing any type of firearms training or whatnot, um, go check out the Arms Room Show and get a hold of their company is uh, IndependenceTrainingAZ.com. You can go check it out. Love doing their training stuff. And I say that because every time that I do stuff with them, it's absolutely a blast. Um, they're 
They spend extra time with you. It's just, you got to go check it out. Follow the Arms Room Show. Get a hold of them. And if you want to do some type of training, those are the people you definitely want to meet up with. Mark Peterson, Patriot Pride, brother. Good morning to you. Thank you for jumping on. Mm. All right, what else? Uh, next up, we're welcoming back this week the Carry On Podcast. After a brief hiatus, 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 <laughs> um, Host Lindsay comes back on and she's got special guest Greg Gibson from the United Patriot Party. Uh, they sit down and they talk about uh, Greg's latest rally plans and what he sees the United Patriot Party prioritizing prior to the 2022 and the 2024 uh, election. So check it out. Very interesting show. That's the Carry On Podcast. Next up, we got the Decision Hour with yours truly. This week, I bring back a very special friend. He's no stranger to the HMG Network. My buddy Anthony Moriello from uh, My Tax Fella. You guys hear me at the end of every week. I talk about uh, his company. And uh, it is tax season right now. Uh, it's upon us. Are you ready? You probably got questions. Um Anthony comes on, and he's an expert in industry. He's got over more than 20 years of experience. He's an EA, and we actually talk about the difference between an EA and a CPA. Um, let me see here. Uh, and we also he, we discuss a little bit about the most common mistakes people make when they're doing their own taxes, as well as uh, businesses that try to do their own taxes. Um, he talks about his personal decision hour where he, quote, I'm pulling back the curtain, end quote, and takes a look at a few things, makes the decision, and shares some exciting news about uh, his business and the services that they now offer. He's had some, uh, a little bit of change over the last year, and they're offering a lot more products and, and stuff like that. It's absolutely amazing. Anthony's been a trusted friend of mine for nearly a decade. He handles all of my stuff. Absolutely love it. Uh, they do a great job. He handles all their personal and all, all the businesses that I'm a part of. So uh, does a great job with that. Check out My Tax Fella on Facebook. Um, and make sure you check out this episode because it's very educational. And that's this week's The Decision Hour. Martina, how are you, sis? How are you? How are you? Yeah, Oscar Mike in the house. Got to love it, love it, love it. All right, next up, we got Not Your Average Operator. Uh, this week they tied in with, uh, kind of a little bit of the episode that they did last week, but this week it's conforming. Um, so they follow up on the episode last week. What they did was, was being authentic. Tanya, I see you. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> and this week they acknowledge that while being genuine, it is important to understand what we are attempting to be a part of, whether it be a relationship, a work environment, a political party, or anything within within a family, right? So in order to conform, one must accept and understand the positives and negatives that may come along with the decision as well as all the others do. Throughout this process, people in the world have the right to change and evolve, sometimes for the better, Sometimes not. Um, conforming can bring unity, identity, teamwork, power, and friendship. <clears throat> On the flip side, it can also bring blind loyalty, abuse of power, censorship, non-authenticity, and uh, divisionness. Uh, it's important for us to always evaluate our own morals, standards, character, and assess whether or not the groups that we are a part of stand for and reflect those exact key pillars. Whether you are brand new to the environment or a veteran of 20 plus years, we should always strive to be the voice of reason in all aspects and hold the standards uh, for the greater good. Couldn't agree more uh, with this. This was really interesting topic that the team gets into this week on conforming. That is this week's not your average operator. Check it out. All right. Moving on. Next up, we got the Power of Investing in People podcast with our gal Shay Sparks. This week's special guest is Nathaniel Schooler. 
Uh, he shares his journey from falling forward from unemployment and entrepreneurship. Very interesting story that Nathaniel shares with us. So that's this week's uh, The Power of Investing in People podcast. How's everybody doing out there? Mm. All right, next up. Time to shine today with our buddy Scott Ferguson. Uh, this week, it's be it, do it, have it, share it. Nathaniel Brown is the special guest uh, this week. And after years of living the lies, pushing boundaries, and shelving belief system, Nathaniel takes his life experiences and uses it as a total, or excuse me, as a tool to help leaders, entrepreneurs, and the curious. PAR, which stands for pa uh, pause, ask, respect, embrace the circumstances in their lives so they can breathe deeply, love fully, and live authentically. Awesome, awesome episode uh, this week from our buddy Scott Ferguson over at Time to Shine Today. And as Scott always says, level up. Next up, Label Free Podcast. And she's spoiling you guys this week. She did three shows this week. I'm going to talk about two of them real quick. First one, A Bump in the Road. Uh, my medical journey over potholes, detours, and the bridge to gratitude with author uh, Michael Kepro. Uh, talking about his personal transformation from, from before his operations during recovery, and then life after. Along with his own personal journey, uh, he details his family medical history with the illness. He's got an illness. It's, it's genetic because he talks about how his, his, the squad or his group consists of his grandmother, his mom. Uh, I believe there's one other person and, and then himself. Um, it, it's affected four generations uh, of the illness that they have. So it's very interesting. So listen to that. That's the first show this week of Label Free. The second one is Better Call Daddy with guest Rihanna Fridman Watts. She worked on reality TV shows such as The Jerry Springer Show, Court TV, Nanny 911. She's worked in radio. She's planned mega events for the telecom and finance industries. Um, she's a questioner. A questioner. Well, she's a questioner <laughs> and a story junkie, uh, and she she's scratching the itch on her highly anticipated podcast, Better Call Daddy. She's telling the stories that haven't been told and sparkling them with wisdom from one of her most trusted advisors, her dad. Pretty cool uh, episodes this week, so go check that out. That's this week's Label Free Podcast. What else do we got? We got oh, we got several more. Stay with me, guys. A lot of stuff coming to you. You guys are getting spoiled this week. Spoiled. Um, MSEC podcast from our friends over at the Military Child Education Coalition. This week, the staff of Stomp specialized training of military parents discussed the important role that parents have in advocating for this emotional, medical, and and educational needs of their loved ones with exceptional needs. Pretty cool episode. Uh, this one, this particular episode, we want to give a special shout out to the Naval Officers Club of San Diego for sponsoring this, this episode of the MSEC podcast this week. Say it every week, I'm going to say it again. If you are in the military, if you are, whether you're active duty, guard, reserve, or if you're a veteran and you have kids that are you know from pre-k all the way through high school and you're moving around and, and, and whatnot the military child education coalition is a great resource and they have a lot of tools that can help especially because they focus on the military kids and i think that's really special um about this organization which is one of the reasons why we like working with them so check that out that's this week's msec podcast next up the s3 JD is going to be coming to you live this weekend, giving you updates on what happened. They were at, uh, he didn't do a show last, last week they were at uh, the Phoenix Raceway for, for NASCAR. So I'm sure he's got some stuff for you lined up this week. Uh, the Baldy Reports, make sure you check that out. Political side of it, right? Both sides of it are coming together. Bagging on both sides. I absolutely love what these guys do. Go check out the Baldy Reports on Facebook. That's where they do their lives. Uh, we got your six at six. 
with the People's Patriot Project. This past week, they called it the Buddy Check. They had uh, Greg Phils um, and his training with Mindset Academy. They also had special guests uh, Kim Dante and her band return to share and entertain you guys uh, with some new some of their new music. You can watch We Got Your Six at six every Sunday night, six p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, on the People's Patriot Project Facebook page. So check that out. Veterans Unite, new episodes are coming up. Shad was on earlier uh, here just a bit ago. So Shad, we're, we're looking forward to that. Also, coming soon, License for Love with Cowboy Jax and Lauren Harris. Uh, two incredible people, and they're coming together. They're going to have some um, great episodes coming to you here uh, very soon. Gotta pay the bills. I want to shout out to Simper Savage, the best salad dressing and marinades on earth. Absolutely love these uh, this organization. Uh, John Stacey, great, great friends of ours, uh, and absolutely love it. So Simper Savage, go check it out. Uh, also, you got you know our sister company, HMG Beverage. Go check that out. We're we've we've paused on the coffee. Some of you have been asking about the coffee and when we're bringing the tea. As soon as we get everything set up with um, the new roasters, I will let you guys know. Um, we're, we've changed everything over, and it's taken a little bit of time to get permits and everything like that. So stay tuned. But in the meantime, you can check out the gin that we have, and we got some other stuff coming later this year. So check that out. I mentioned earlier he was one of the guests on the show, my tax fella, my buddy Anthony and Mariello. It's tax season. You guys need help. Go check out my tax fella. Absolutely love it. Uh, and then Short Mountain Distillery, there are a distiller right now with our sister company, HMG Beverage. Go check them out. And again, if you're in the Pennsylvania area, please go check it out. What do we got this week? Mark Peterson's up here. So this week we have Brian Jacobs and the Three Beards. Nice. Very nice. And hey, listen, what do you guys got coming up this weekend? Everybody, anybody that's watching right now, tell me what you got going on. What'd you do yesterday for St. Patty's Day? You got events coming up. We want to know about it. If there's something that you want me to bring up on the HMG Weekly Wrap-Up, shoot us a DM. Let me know. Whew. All right. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. I, I told you guys I would do something a little bit different, so I got this hat out. I had to dust the hat off. The bow tie's rocking. You know that. Next week, I'm not wearing the hat. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'll wear the bow tie, but I'm not wearing the hat next week. Tell me what you guys got coming up. If there's events, I want to know about them. We got some more events coming up here, but uh, we're, we're a little bit far out for that. I will post links to uh, everything from the start of the show. Uh, if you're in the Tennessee area, a lot of stuff coming up in Tennessee. Got some stuff coming up in Florida here later. Uh, later in a few, about, about a month or two. Let's see, you're doing a solo show for Monday's release. Shad, awesome. That's the Veterans Unite podcast. So there you have it, folks. Shad said, Monday release, Veterans Unite podcast. It's coming back. Good stuff, guys. Well, listen, that's all I got. Again, if if you have a podcast or you're thinking about starting a podcast, contact uh, Heroes Media Group. Let us help you get started with that. Also, authors, if you have a book and you're looking to turn it into an audio book, it's what we do. Give us a shout. Let us help you up, help you out. We'll get the set up on a phone call, and we'll get that going for you. That's all the time I got for this week, guys. That's it. Boom. Done. I'm out of here. God bless you. God bless America. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next week.